Hello, Tim Matreo Bushcraft here. Uh, a couple days ago, went to my local hunting store, picked up this tomahawk. After doing a bit of research, I figured out that it's the Cold Steel Trail Hawk. I mean, Cold Steel Frontier Hawk. Uh, so yeah, I just picked it up for 50 bucks. Uh, pretty expensive, considering that Amazon has it for way cheaper. I'm, I think it was around 20, 25, 30. Uh, it's an Allen key set handle, which didn't does did not work for me at all. Took one swing, got loosened. Uh, went on YouTube, looked around. Went on the internet, internet looked around. Found a couple of different ways. Uh, you can either set it like a regular axe with a wedge, which is probably what I'll do if this friction fit doesn't work. Or you can do what I just said, the friction fit. I watched a Ziyuki's one, Ziyuki one video or whatever, whoever that is, I'll leave a link. Uh, and and uh, shows you how to friction fit. And real simple, real easy. So it's a lot better than it was with that screw. I did what he said, just take out the screw and throw it away because I'll never use it again because it's dumb. Sanded the head down to have a little bit of black because I like the the character that it brings out. Got a convex edge on it. Burn the handle. Tiger stripe. Or, I don't know. Tig I call it tiger stripe. Yeah. Now I'm eager to test it out in the woods for a third time and see if it doesn't work. But what I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring this file and this little diamond sharpener rod. This little diamond rod for sharpening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every time I go out with axes, I will bring these two tools. The file, if you miss your wood or whatever, you miss and hit the ground, chip your axe, this little chainsaw file, fix you right up, get that chip out, get it back to a decent edge, diamond one, sharpens her up. These will both sharpen up, but this one will get it even more. And that's just a temporary solution if you're spending more than one night out in, out in the woods. But in some cases you may not. In some cases you may be just staying a couple hours, so you'll have that advantage of coming home in a couple hours to make your edge and you can easily do that even after this stuff but what i'm what i'm telling you this for is like for more than an overnighter like three days or more you probably want to bring something like this to keep your axes honed and well use usable <laughs> you know weird word so for instance took this axe out Splitting a, splitting a little bit of wood, missed, hit the top, just barely, took the file on both sides, make sure that it was even, took this a diamond rod, sharpened her up, it was good for the rest of the day. Went home that night, fixed her up even more, now she's back up to the way she was before, and it's perfect, and no muss, no fuss, easy and it works great still so oh uh, little file little diamond rod something to be considered just little sharpening tools you may have a different system that's totally up to you I'm just giving you my idea so hopefully that this handle will this uh, friction fit handle will work so in the video that I watched you, you take the handle out, you, you sand or file the wood around it so it's a nice tapered tapered piece of wood. You, you bring the axe head up there and you smack this end with a blunt object, whether that's a log or a hammer to keep her into place. And if you want to take it off, smack this end. Then you should be squared away. So if this, so if this doesn't fit, this friction fit, if I hit the tree or if I start to cut up some stuff and it gets loose, take the head off, file it, file around here again to make it more taper, 
put the head back on, grab a blunt object, whether that's a piece of wood or a rock, smack this one, smack this way, tighten her up, try her again. So I'll, for the amount of money, 30 to 50 bucks, well, I paid 50, but like 30 bucks for this thing, an average price. They're not Star Spangled Banner by any means. Like they're, they're cheap, but they're fun. They're fun to work on, and if you work on them hard enough, like Zuki once said, then they can they can really do the job for you. But but right now I'm just testing it out. If I was spending a multiple days, I'd probably take this. And maybe my Fisker's hatchet or something like this with the wedge in that I know that's not ever coming out. I've hit this into a log, flipped it over, or a stump I should say. Hit this into a stump, flipped the stump over, and smacked it on the back of its head. And the stump can split without having any wiggle room at all. Like, that's, that's a huge dip. I don't think I could ever do, get away with that. But then again, this is, that's not what this is designed for. This is a tomahawk. This is meant for throwing if you're into it, or almost fine knife carvings. But yeah, that's, that's completely a different topic. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to give you a little tidbits of information. Uh, got a little shelter video coming up here next. So have a good day.